Hello, everyone. So today we are going to be learning about solar energy. So in your Edmodo, find the post that says solar energy on Earth. We have a link for the reading. We have my email that you can send your completed work to. And we have the practice questions. So let's get started on this. So um, almost all energy at the Earth's surface is going to come from the sun. So the sun's energy is going to heat um, the Earth. It's going to heat the air around the Earth. It's going to cause the weather. It's going to drive the water cycle. Um, it's going to power photosynthesis. Um, the sun gives us a lot of energy for a lot of things. So solar energy is going to travel in tiny packets that are going to move in waves. So the waves are going to have different wavelengths and waves with different wavelengths are going to carry different amounts of energy. So the sun is going to give off its energy in tiny packets called photons. So photons travel in waves and the waves are going to make up electromagnetic radiation. So this is a wavelength. It is between two consecutive crests or two consecutive troughs. Now the crest is the high part of the wave. The trough is the low part of the wave. So this is true whether it's light waves, sound waves, ocean waves. OK, they all have the same parts. OK. So all of the energy is going to be on the electromagnetic spectrum. So this is the total range of energy. So we have like radio waves, microwaves, infrared waves, visible waves, um, all of this. And the shorter their wavelength, the more energy they have. So radio waves don't have um, much energy because they have the longest wavelengths. Um, UV rays, X-rays, gamma rays, they have very short wavelengths, so they have a lot of energy. So visible light is going to be the only light that we can actually see, obviously because it's called visible light. And different wavelengths of visible light are going to, going to appear as different colors. All right, we already went over radio waves. Um, Infrared, obviously we can't see that because it's not visible light, um, but we can feel them as heat. All right, so the atmosphere is going to absorb infrared light and then UV light um, that has very short wavelengths and UV rays are very harmful. So, but thankfully the atmosphere is going to absorb a lot of the UV radiation. Gamma rays have the highest energy, so they are going to be the most damaging rays. So um, fortunately, gamma rays do not come into Earth's atmosphere. But for those comic book fans who know of the Incredible Hulk and he was exposed to gamma radiation, which gave him super strength, um, gamma radiation would actually have the opposite effect. Um, it would kill you. So. Ending on that dark note, um, so hopefully that makes sense. Make sure you finish your questions and turn them into me.